Hello, uh, my name is Joey Gamenden. I'm here with you all today to do a tour of Founders Hall. Um, I'm the CRE, which is the coordinator for residence education over Founders Hall. What the CRE means is I o oversee uh, the residence hall, I supervise the RAs, I, supervise, I advise the lead hogs in the building, and I put on uh, fun programs and educational programs for the students in the hall. If they have issues going on in the hall, they'll come talk to me if they can't get it resolved by the RA. And I deal with conduct, student conduct as well in the building. Um, this will be my third year here at the University of Arkansas. And uh, so, we're, like I said, I'm going to show you all the outside what's surrounded by Founders Hall so you have a better idea of the geographical location of the building. And we're here in, I guess, central campus, right? So this is the central part of the campus? campus. Yeah. So um, over here we have uh, the Greek theater. Um, a lot of students will come out here and study uh, uh, and take a relaxing break during the day. It's also where our bed day location uh, is typically held at for the sororities. Um, over here is uh, Kimple Hall. Uh, Kimple Hall is our communication building. Uh, it actually has, you can't see it right now, but it actually has um, our uh, on-campus TV news station in there as well. Um, over there, down that way, is going to be our Walton Business College, um, so, which is really nice because we have a lot of business students in, uh, located in Founders Hall. Um, so if you have any intro business courses, it's going to be right down the uh, street from you. We have a couple of people tuning in already, Joey. So if you'd like to, we'd love to hear where you're from and where you're going to be uh, visiting the university from when you arrive this fall. Yeah. Um, so glad y'all are here to join us. Um, over here uh, is going to be some of our food locations that you'll have access to right next door in Founders. Um, they're actually connected uh, to Founders. You'll have to walk outside and to access them, but um, so some of the restaurants right over here is our local uh, Slim Chickens. Uh, we How also you Slim Chickens. Uh, chicken. Uh, they have really good chicken. I really like them. I think they're better than Cane's. I think they're better than uh, uh, Chick-fil-A, all those places. Strong opinions. Yeah. Strong opinions. I really like it. Um, so, but you can use your meal plan at Ch uh, Slim's. You can, uh, we also have the Wild Greens and a, 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 a sushi place as well that just opened up last year. Um, right next to us is a, a Starbucks. And we also have a Quiznos. And you can use your student meal plans at all these places. Um, and then we have Bruff, uh, one of our three main dining halls, and they just actually went through a renovation of it last year as well. Um, and they have really good food in there. I really enjoy it. I use my meal plan as a, a professional staff member all the time over there as well. So yeah. Perfect, perfect. And two halls behind us, I guess, too. Might point those out. Yeah. Gregson so and Gibson, I guess. We have um, four neighboring residence halls. Uh, we have Gregson over there. We have Gibson. And then uh, behind Founders is going to be Humphreys and Yoakum. Um, so these two buildings over here are upperclassmen and the two buildings behind us, uh, Yoakum and Humphreys, are some freshman uh, dormitories as well. And then also the Union is not too far away as well, uh, which is just right down that road right there. Um, so that's really awesome. You have uh, walking distance within the Union as well. You don't have to go up a giant hill uh, to get there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, should we head inside? Of course. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go in. And Joey, I think you mentioned um, Walton Business College. Yes. And I guess we can get a good view of it here. Of course. If you wouldn't mind pointing it out. Yeah, so it's just going to be right there. Um, and so Founders, we actually have, uh, we share a the Business LLC, which is the Living Learning Community. It's located on our third floor, um, the co-ed floor. Um, we share the, the Business LLC with the uh, uh, Humphreys Hall, which is right next door as well. Awesome. Yeah. And where are you from, Joey? Um, I'm originally from Georgia. Uh -huh. um, I lived there my entire life. Went to, um, I got my bachelor's and my master's down at two different universities down there. And then uh, my first professional job, I came out here about three years ago um, and started working as a coordinator out here. I really love Northwest Arkansas. It's a great area. Uh, uh, unlike Atlanta, where I'm originally from, uh, that part of Georgia, it doesn't compare. I really enjoy it out here. <laughs> great. I really do. All right. So, the first door in here, um, yeah, like in there, yeah. So, to gain access into our residence halls, uh, we have a security measure for, uh, so only residents of that building can get a, gain access to it uh, by using a FOB. Uh, so you'll be issues, issued a FOB uh, along with your keys when you move into campus. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place it against it, doors get a little lock, and it'll be unlocked for a couple seconds for you to open it up and walk right through. So, uh, welcome to Founders Hall. Uh, we have a guest with us today, which is Eric Peltier. 
Uh, he was a former uh, Siri of this building for the last two years yep, before this. Last year, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. You want to come together there? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. You mind introducing yourself to us? Yeah, I'm Eric Peltier. I am the coordinator for residence education over in the Northwest Quad now. Um, I was here for the last two years, and before actually that, I was actually a CRE over in Holcomb and Tutrell too. So a veteran of the founder's experience, huh? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Yep. Yep. Will, you, will you come along with us as we tour? Sure. sure. Thank you. Yep. Awesome. So one of the first things we're going to show you is uh, the uh, community kitchen that we have here in Founders. So we can walk down in here. Um, so we have a little, uh, we got rid of the couple of the tables just for social distancing uh, policy this year. Um, but we have a, a couple of tables and chairs for students that they want to sit down at. We have an island for them to use and cook at. Uh, we have a full functioning fridge. Uh, microwave, oven, stove, kitchen sink, all this good stuff. And so if you use the community fridges, I definitely recommend that you label any items that you're going to put in there. Um, but yeah, a lot of students will come down here and cook and uh, make some meals and stuff like that down here. Um, if they don't want to go to the dining hall, they just want to practice cooking or make it their own home meal. What is a uh, common thing that's cooked here? Eric, do you know? Try to think. I mean, all sorts of things. Um, last year we had a lot of cookies. Cookies were baked a lot. Anything yeah. really sweets were baked for a lot. Uh, we had some queso. Queso was big last year too for our for our building. So, but definitely sweets, cookies, brownies, things like that. Yeah. Cheese dip and cookies. All right. <laughs> Great combo. <No. laughs> um, so right here is going to be our front desk uh, for Founders Hall. An RA or a uh, student worker will be working this desk on weekdays from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. And then we'll have, uh, they'll also be working the weekends from, uh, from noon to midnight. Um, so unlike other halls, uh, you don't get your front desk in this, inside, uh, you don't get your mail and all that stuff at Founders. You actually go over to Humphreys, which is located just behind us. And so you'll get your mail there. Um, you can do so during, uh, they'll have the a little extended package hours, sometime, anywhere between 8 a.m. Um, until about uh, 8 p.m., depending on the weekday or weekend. Um, but you can go over there. Uh, you'll have a mailbox located for you over there, and you can uh, have packages, anything like that, delivered. Uh, if you go to our housing website um, and go look at Humphreys, for the, the, the location, the address, um, you'll see the, where you should be able to ship any packages and stuff like that to, to, uh, to Humphreys. Um, and all the founders' residents have access to that first floor of Humphreys, so you can key in, key out. Uh, and check your email and everything. Um, I noticed that there's a, uh, a new plexiglass there. Yes. And that would be a COVID-19 precaution. Yes, uh, just to make sure our students are uh, safe and when you come over and interact with them and stuff like that. So we'll be taking a lot of measures to make sure our students are safe inside the residence halls. We'll have cleaning cr uh, crew going through the buildings during the morning and the night crew uh, to sanitize and clean, to make sure our residents are safe during the building. Yeah, and so, um, one for, normally during the school year, um, maybe we're open up in the spring, but we do have a lot of stuff and supplies that residents can check out. We're going to limit it that to uh, uh, during the fall, just for obviously safety concerns. Uh, but if you want to uh, in the spring and stuff like that, hopefully you can rent out some supplies out of the closet there, like ping pong supplies, um, cooking supplies, all this good stuff, board games, whatnot. And then, so we have, this is our living uh, uh, lobby area or lounge on the first floor. Um, we have a giant TV over here that the students can use, um, hook up, play their uh, consoles, watch some TV, some cable, anything like that. Um, and then we have several other TVs on the, on the floors. Uh, if they're not located in the lobby area, just down the hallways, uh, that's actually where we do our um, media and advertisement for stuff. We don't really do any flyers or anything like that at the building. We typically, if there's any news or anything like that you need to know, uh, you'll see it on the TV screens down the hallway. Okay. Yeah, one of our halls that uses digital signage as yeah. opposed to paper signage. Um, we have a ping pong table located in our building. Uh, we do recommend that you bring your own supplies for the ping pong this year just for safety, con uh, safety concerns. So, yeah. Perfect. Nice big lobby area. Yes, it's great. Um, over here we have a water fountain. We have one of these uh, on each floor. Um, we have the little bottle for y'all to use, so that way you don't have to use uh, bottled water. And you go in there and fill it up. Um, we've actually saved over 54,000 bottles of water just by using that. So, and like I said, it's located on one of each each floor. Yeah. And Joey, I noticed there's tape on there. That yeah. Would say, hey, <laughs> don't put your mouth. Don't on put it. your mouth on that. So, uh, yeah, just use just use the bottle if you can, please. 
All right, and so over here is where our um, laundry room facility is. We have three, four, five washers and eight dryers um, located in here. Um, we also have a laundry app that they can use. Eric, do you want to tell them about the laundry app? Yeah, it's um, if you go into your iPhone and or Android phone, you can get it, it or you can scan there. Um, it's super great. It'll let you know when um, the dryer is in use, when it's not in use. Um, I don't know if the feature's still on there, but there used to be a feature about like times. Like it usually shows like an average of like Saturdays in the morning is super busy, but Wednesdays afternoon super ch is super calm. So come get your you can so. Um, there's, it's on there. It's absolutely great. It also allows for you to do, uh, if the machine breaks or something like that, you can scan and send the work order right straight to the to the company. Nice. And you can you can find out more at um, housing.uark.edu forward slash laundry. Yeah, and I think it also tells you if if, uh, if there's any open or if they're already in use yeah, as well. Yeah, it, it gives you all that. Like, yeah. It for sure tells you like which machines are open, which machines are not open and stuff like that. And even, I think you can even track it so that you know, if you put it in like washer three, it'll tell you that you've got 20 minutes left or 15 minutes left or whatever. And, this, and it'll tell you even how long someone else's does have. Like, so if you come down here and all of them are full, it's like, well, I got this machine may open up in about five minutes. Yeah. And we definitely recommend you all use the pods rather than the uh, detergent and things like that. Just a little cleaner and easier to, uh, to use. Um, we also have the vending machines and an ice maker over here as well um, on the first floor. Um, they're empty right now, uh, but we, oh, they'll be filled when they get here, hopefully. So, um, and this is the only uh, part of the building where we have vending machines and ice maker and uh, washing and laundries is just located on the first floor. First floor only. Okay, yes. good to know. Yeah. Um, right. Over here is where my office is located. Um, I work from, five, uh, from 9 to 5 p.m. every day. Um, on it's lunch break, obviously. Uh, you can find me in bra, probably Slim's over there during those times. But uh, during the weekday, if a student ever needs to come talk to me and wants to chat, or if they have a problem, or uh, anything I can really help with them, anything like that, they can come down to my office and uh, chat. I also live in the hall, so uh, easy access. I'll be in and out and um, here for the residents and everything. Cool. Um, down here is uh, where our conference room is located. So if you need a kind of like a private space uh, to study or anything like that with some friends, um, or really anything, I don't know what else did y'all use this space for here last, the last couple of years. It's the only enclosed, like walled study space we have in the building. Um, so a lot of study groups and stuff like that. Um, they would have, sometimes we'd have game nights in here. Like there was a group of students for a couple of weeks that were doing, or not a couple of weeks, but for part of the semester that were doing like D and D games and stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's really a multi-use thing, but it is also the only sort of closed, closed private space. So if you want to do a study group and stuff like that, or, um, we actually had students who would take tests and things like that in here too. Like yeah. if they needed to. Is it freely available or do you need to rent it? Um, for me, uh, and, for me, when I had it, like as long as it was open, it was fine. Um, but we do have it reserved for various meetings and stuff like that. So if someone wants to reserve it, that's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a hoxing form. Yeah. Um, so if they if they know they want for sure, they have a time and specific day they want to use it, they can fill out that form, and we'll make sure I or another RA puts a sign on the door uh, to make sure that space is reserved for them at that time. But then that's free, uh, free uh, first okay. come first serve. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, is there anything else on the first floor? Take a look at here in Founders Hall. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. There's, there's just a couple of exits down there. Uh, mm -hmm. There is an exit down that way. Um, there is a um, community bathroom that uh, people can use, a, a public bathroom there down the hallway as well. Visitors who can come in, for example? Yes. Yes. And I think this fall we're not allowing any overnight visitors. Does no that sound right? overnight visitors, that is correct. Um, uh, Typically, we want to keep those visitors associated U of A, U of A students. Yeah. And those are immediate family members. Enhanced sort of COVID-19 precautions that we're taking. Exactly. All right. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're going to come get them. We left them behind, but uh, we'll fine. go get them. Uh, so we're going to go to the sixth floor and show you. Uh, we have two different vari variations of the rooms that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a standard room. Uh, two persons that live there, 
Uh, the other one is a, uh, you know, it's a gable room, so it's just a little bit of variation. Sometimes on the, on the elevator. elevator. I should have warned that uh, sometimes we disconnect a little on the elevator, but we're back again and we're up on the top floor, floor yeah, six. So we're going to show you one of the two different variations of rooms that we have. This is what we call a gable room. And so the ceilings are a little more enclosed than the typical room. And so we're just going to show you all this one. We're going to do probably more measurements down there. Um, and we'll show you a room on the fifth floor. But uh, this is what every room and it kind of looks like in the sixth floor. It's got the gable like kind of Whatever's going on with that seal in there, uh, that's what it's going to look like in all the six floor, uh, floor or rooms on the sixth floor and a handful of the rooms on the fifth floor. And I will say that on our housing website, if you would go look up Founders, you will find um, a PDF mm -hmm. of a gable room so you can yeah. see what exactly that consists of. Of course, yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, you want to head down to a nor nor more yeah. normal room? We'll head down there. So we're going to go down to the fifth floor. So Georgia, yes. born and raised, huh? Born and raised. Okay. And um, what would you say is one of the major differences between living just a little bit north of Atlanta and living in northwest Arkansas? Oh, the traffic. Anytime I hear people complain about the traffic up here, I'm like, you've never been to Atlanta in your life. Uh, <laughs> you've never had to deal with eight lanes going both ways. It takes you about 45 minutes to go a mile to work. Uh, so that is something I definitely am... But also, one thing I really love out here, though, is like the trails and the nature and everything like that. You don't get out a lot of that out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so we can go ahead. All right, so I'm going to go to that room. Yeah, yeah let's help. So, um, on each floor, there is a located a trash room for residents to use. So they can throw away their trash uh, uh, in the hallway. We also have a recycling bin in each room as well, uh, uh, on each floor as well. Um, so that way you don't have to go outside and throw away your trash or recycling out in the dumpster. We can actually use, the, use these rooms. Hold yeah. To save, to save frustration, because this will happen, <laughs> is that, as you can see, it is locked. Mm -hmm. You press the button, it should release it. Yeah. Ah. And that red light, will turn on all the other floors so the other floors won't open. Mm -hmm. So please make sure you close it shut tight, nice and tight, because it will cause the rest of the building to not be able to get their trash through the trash. Yeah, so make sure you press the button, open it, and close it. This is the voice of experience speaking, yeah. I think. So uh, we're going to walk out here. We can go ahead and uh, show you a bathroom as well. Do well, you want to do room first or bathroom? Bathroom would be great. Yeah, we'll do yeah. the bathroom first. And then we can also look at one of those common lounge areas. Yes. So, these are the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Which are pretty nice, honestly. Very nice, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, I mean, this building was built in 2013, so um, the bathrooms and everything like that are very in with the rest of the building. Yeah, let's go up in a shower. Yeah. So, you get a nice little privacy in the, in the shower as well. There's actually a door that connects to it. So, yeah. And there should be about three showers, three stalls before, uh, in each bathroom. And uh, there's uh, on the four, third, fourth, and fifth floor, there is three bathrooms um, on, on each of those floors. And I think, what, two? Mm -hmm. Two on the second and uh, the sixth floor. Um, and we have about 50 residents on the third, fourth, and fifth, about 25 on the second and sixth. So, um, yeah, there's plenty of bathrooms in the spaces like that for the residents to use very throughout the day. Well, let's head up into a room then. Yeah. Let's see. Well, well lounge room. Room. So, um, there's also three lounge spaces uh, oh, yeah. like this uh, on each floor as well. They have a TV they can use, little study spaces, a desk, and stuff like that for them to use um, if they uh, if they want to get out of the room and hang out with some of their other residents on the floor. Awesome. And then now we'll go to the room. Sounds good. Yeah. So we're going to check out 510. So if you live here, here's your room. This is your room if you're in 510. Okay. So let me get a little pan here. Yeah. You can't 
can um, lower them if you want to move the desk out underneath, away from the bed. You can also raise it so that way you can sit directly underneath the bed as well. Um, you just uh, you can do that on your own, or you can place a work order, and someone can help you uh, move, uh, raise them, lower the bed. Um, they have a desk, uh, 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 drawer, tables. Um, each resident also comes with a little armor um, that has a uh, closet bar up here, a mirror, uh, shelving, and everything for students to use as well. Uh, there should be an armor right here as well. And a mirror right there. Yep. And then we have each room comes with uh, two sinks as well, uh, one sink as well, uh, and uh, two sets of uh, uh, little drawers that they can use. And they're all the same depth except for the last one, which is a little, little deeper. Great. Yeah, well, I think the uh, I think the sinks are something that really stands out about this yeah, particular hall. Sure. Yeah, you got your own little sink and everything like that in your rooms, which is uh, you don't get that in every hall. Yeah, right. Well, if there's any questions about different measurements in this room, this is the perfect time to ask them. We have a tape measure. There's also a lot of uh, measurements available on the housing website, so you can check that also. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anything else you want to point out. Let's point out the chair. I don't know if yeah. you know about the chair. What it can. Oh. These chairs, I think, let's see, these are not the chairs that go into the gamer mode. Okay. No, these are not the gamer mode. <laughs> okay. But you do get a sink, so that's a thing. <laughs> yes, you do get a sink. Yeah, just normal chairs. Mm -hmm. um, you also get a great view if you live on this side of the, uh, <laughs> this side of Founders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Uh, thanks to those of you who turned in. Let me get on the other side. Oh, the light and there. you also have a thermostat right over there that you can control for each of the uh, rooms as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of all. Anything else, Eric? Um, no, I mean, other than, yeah, like this is the, these are the rooms. Um, you do all, also, you, we didn't mention, I don't know if you mentioned other ones, but every room should have their own Wi-Fi hotspot mm -hmm. behind us that, um, so that you have your own sort of individualized, uh, not individualized, but your room has its own Wi-Fi. Yeah. And that includes uh, HBO as well. Yeah, That's one cable. of the offerings you get with cable. Yeah. Um, well, Joey, are you, uh, are you excited about this fall? Yeah, I'm super excited for all the students to come back. I've missed them since March, so it'll uh, be nice to, uh, to get them back here and hopefully get everything kind of normal by the spring. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, well, wave us out if you don't mind. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah.